ABCorp is an American corporation providing secure payment, retail and ID cards, vital record and transaction documents, systems and services to governments and financial institutions, and is one of the largest producers of plastic transaction cards in the world. ABCorp has offices and manufacturing facilities in the United States, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, China, Germany, Dubai and South Africa. Formerly known as the American Banknote Company, the organization was originally a major worldwide engraver of national currency and postage stamps. Topic origins Robert Scott, the first official engraver of the Young U.S. Mint, began the company that would eventually grow into the nation's premier high-security engraving and printing firm, the American Banknote Company. Founded in 1795 as Murray, Draper, Fairman and Company after Scott's three partners, the company prospered as the young United States population expanded and financial institutions blossomed. Its products included superior quality stock and bond certificates, paper currency for the nation's thousands of state chartered banks, postage stamps from 1879 to 1894, and a wide variety of other engraved and printed items. Topic. After 1857 On April 29, 1858, following the Panic of 1857, seven of the nation's most prominent security printers merged to form the American Banknote Company. The new company made New York City its headquarters. Less than two years later, the remaining handful of independent banknote printers merged to form the National Banknote Company that we know of today. To be close to the stock exchanges, brokerage firms, and banks in Lower Manhattan, the American Banknote Company established its New York City headquarters in the Merchants Exchange Building at 55 Wall Street. The company moved its office and plant to 142 Broadway at the corner of Liberty Street in 1867, to another new facility at 78-86 Trinity Place in 1882, and again to 70 Broad Street in 1908. The first paper currency was circulated by the U.S. Treasury Department following the outbreak of the Civil War. Congress passed authorizing legislation for $60 million worth of these demand notes on July 17 and August 5, 1861. Under contract with the government, the novel paper money, called greenbacks by the public, was produced by the American Banknote Co. and the National Banknote Co. A total of 7.25 million notes were produced in denominations of $5, $10, and $20. In an interesting historical sidelight, American and National were also producing paper money for the Confederacy at the same time. Following the initial production of U.S. currency by the government's Bureau of Engraving and Printing in 1862, Abinco sought a new source of demand for its services. They found it in foreign lands. The company would eventually go on to supply security paper and banknotes to 115 foreign countries. In 1877, pursuant to a law enacted by Congress, the U.S. Bureau of Engraving and Printing became the sole producer of all United States currency. The security printing industry, finding a good deal of its work had evaporated, accordingly underwent a second major consolidation in 1879, as American absorbed the National Banknote and Continental Banknote companies. At the time of the merger, Continental held the contract to produce U.S. postage stamps, and this production continued under the American Aegis. In 1887, Abinco won the second four-year contract to engrave and print postal notes for the U.S. Post Office. New York's Homer Lee Banknote Company produced these notes during the first contract period. American assigned Thomas F. Morris, its chief designer, the task of redesigning this early money order. The paper for this contract, as for all postal notes and a massive number of official U.S. high security documents, was produced by Crane & Co. of Dalton, Massachusetts. In 1891 the American Banknote Company began producing a new form of money for a long-time customer, the American Express. Traveler's Check. In its first year, American Express sold $9,120 worth of its new invention. During 2000, sales of American Express Traveler's Checks totaled $24.6 billion. In 1894, Abinco completed the final contract for the private printing of American stamps. Perhaps their most popular stamps were the one cent to five dollars issues commemorating the 1892-93 Columbian Exposition for which they had also printed the admission tickets in Chicago. On July 1, 1894 American delivered its entire stamp producing operation to the U.S. Bureau of Engraving and Printing in Washington, D.C., where U.S. stamps were still printed up into the 1990s. <laughs> 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 
Topic: 20th century. In 1933, the company printed the second series of Bank Meliaran banknotes. In 1943, the U.S. Post Office launched a series of 13 stamps honoring the countries that had been overrun by the Axis during World War II. Each stamp featured a full color reproduction of one of the occupied nations. While the Bureau of Engraving and Printing had previously issued bi colored stamps, it did not have equipment for printing the necessary multi colored flag images, and so, contracted with the American Banknote Company to produce the stamps. Issued between June 1943 and November 1944, the Overrun Countries series reproduced the flags of Poland, Czechoslovakia, Norway, Luxembourg, the Netherlands, Belgium, France, Greece, Yugoslavia, Albania, Austria, Denmark, and Korea. Topic. Abcorp American Banknote Corporation is headquartered in Stamford, Connecticut, with USA manufacturing facilities located in Boston, Massachusetts and Columbia, Tennessee. Today, following a variety of financial transformations over the past 220-plus years, Abcorp offers a wide variety of secure and official plastic cards, documents, mobile applications, cloud services and other business solutions. Operations are located in Australia, New Zealand, United States, Canada, South Africa, Czech Republic, England and France. Topic: 1908 buildings. The American Banknote Company building and American Banknote Company printing plant were both built in 1908 and are both designated New York City landmarks. The former is also listed on the U.S. National Register of Historic Places. The buildings were sold in 1988 and 1985, respectively. Topic Gallery. Topic See also. Postage stamp Postage stamps and postal history of the United States Bureau of Engraving and Printing New York Banknote Company Homer Lee Banknote Company Canadian Banknote Company, Canadian unit from 1897 to 1923 References and sources References Sources Antecedents of the American Banknote Company of 1858 by Foster Wild Rice The Story of the American Banknote Company by William H. Griffiths America's Money America's Story by Richard Doty The Comprehensive Catalogue of U.S. Paper Money by Jean Hessler Topic. External links Official website